South Dakota House Bill 1235 says children going into school cannot be required to receive immunizations before enrolling. It would also be a misdemeanor for medical providers to make students receive a vaccination. The bill has sparked debate, and on February 12th, the South Dakota medical community spoke out against it. Today, our Lauren Solich talked with medical providers and a lawmaker about the bill. The Sioux Falls Area Immunization Coalition released this statement with 22 other medical organizations, including both Sanford and Vera Health, opposing House Bill 1235. The South Dakota medical community is very concerned about this bill and the potential implications that it has, uh, not only for South Dakota, but when we talk about what could happen if this were to pass, public health wise, it stands outside of South Dakota to the entire U.S. Representative Manny Steele says he'll be voting in favor of the vaccination bill because of concerns surrounding what a shot puts into a child's body. I think the problems that were created by the different chemicals we're putting into the body is more detrimental to the children than getting these basic measles, mumps, and chicken box. Dr. Shimmel Finnig, president of the South Dakota chapter of the American Pediatrics Society, says some of the worry, though, is also for those that can't be vaccinated. For example, if they had leukemia and were scheduled to get chemotherapy treatment. So they are not protected from chicken pox. And if they were to get chicken pox, they could get significantly sick to the point of death. Um, it, so if this child chose to go to the mall, they could be exposed to chicken pox by another family that chose not to vaccinate. Steele says he's received multiple emails from parents who want to have a choice when it comes to their children getting vaccinated. I think it's gotten to where the parents are getting to the point where they're more concerned about the shots received than not having the shots, than not having the choice. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. HB 1235 has been referred to the House Health and Human Services Committee. If you'd like to read the bill or the statement from the medical organizations, visit this story on our website, kelloland.com.